just in. A village has been discovered in Equestria where all ponies have given up their cutie marks. Apparently the ponies who live there want to live in an egalitarian society without having to commit to a lifetime of farming just because you've got an apple on your rump. We don't know if cutie marks are absolute. We don't know that Big Macintosh didn't want to start a gangster rap group as notorious B.I.G. Mac. But he never had that opportunity because the second he got a green apple cutie mark, instead of kicking it old style, he had to kick it apple tree style. I asked Notorious B.I.G. Mac if this fact of life bummed him out, and he quoted, Faux shizzle. Princess Celestia has responded to the presence of cutie markless ponies by Sonic Rain booming the village because, <laughs> because you can't have ponies with free will. <laughs> <laughs> there were no survivors. Unfortunately, there have been other hidden villages where ponies have given things up, and it seems the problem is too big for Celestia to simply nuke till it goes away. Twilight Sparkle has discovered a village where unicorns have given up their horns and pegasi have given up their wings. They also claim to want to live in a free and equal society where no pony has differences, but it turns out these were just a bunch of earth ponies who claimed that they lost their wings and horns so that they could get disability benefits. Another pony has garnered a large following and claims to be able to create a utopian society so long as ponies give up their bits to him. In celebration of gathering over 1,000 ponies to his free of wealth society, Jim Ponies has ordered a large shipment of cider to be delivered to their settlement in Ponies Town, where I'm sure his followers will greatly drink from his wisdom. <laughs> While Princess Celestia has struggled to contain this growth of free will at ease, she has begun a public relations campaign to convince ponies to stick with their boring, predetermined existences, and hired a burning duck along with notorious B.I.G. Macintosh to deliver this message. His hit single, it's what my cutie mark is telling me, yup, has not been successful. I'm Joe Stevens, and this has been a news brief from the Equestrian Inquirer.